Hi, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, Happy New Year to you. My name is Martin and this is all 4x4. Today we're going to be looking at um, the suspension on the P38. We've had a few calls, not calls, comments, um, reference what I've got running tyre wise, suspension wise. So today we're going to go through it. So we're going to try and get a bit of flex so I can show you a few pictures and then we'll let you know what exactly is going on. Alright, see you in a bit. And for those that want to know the tire sizes, um, it well they're two six five seventy five sixteens, um, Insta turbos, um, special track, um, and they've been very very good. Typical muddies, um, but I am going to try and uh, make them a little bit larger later on. But that will be for another time. Hi, right. So we've got a bit of flex, not a lot. She will flex more, but she's not doing too bad. Um, <clears throat> okay. So what we're going to show you is that she's still on air. Um, and she's got a two inch lift, which is quite rare to say the least, I think. Um, it's going to be very controversial this video because it's going to be, <laughs> in my opinion, it's going to be air versus coil springs. Um, and I shall show you um, how it works, uh, what we've done, how we've got the two inch lift and kept it on air, and why I believe, personally, it's gonna, I'm going to get a lot of comments, I know, but um, why I believe that air is still better than springs and if you look at some of the manufacturers today like Toyota and such like they are re they're going back to airbags not total airbags but they've got coil springs with airbags inside and the reason for that I'll explain in a moment um, but if I show you what we've done and then we'll see what's going on right okay so the video hmm, might be getting a little bit dark in a moment. Let's just get inside here. Um, now, straight away, those are the airbags. Um, what I'm going to try and do is probably go from the front. Let's have a quick look. Oh, excuse the poor videoing. But basically what we've got, um, there's the original airbags. Um, now, there is a lot of rumours saying that you've got to buy Gen 3 airbags. These, I'm not too sure whether Gen 2s or Gen 3s, because the Gen 3s are got more of a reach but anyway so what we've got you notice is a bigger bump stop because it's actually been rules by two inches now the tricky thing is <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you at the front is a bit tricky to show but what we've got is on the top of the airbag up here see if I can get a bit better view oh, let's have a look right let's see if I can yeah I don't know whether I'm going to be able to let's have a look these cameras okay well okay uh, it's not a very good picture that is it really but up on the top there is actually a two inch section that is sat on top of the airbag um and now i'm, I'm going to show you hopefully something different to that in a minute under the engine bay we might be better to see it now of course with it being air on air we have um the adjusters which are here now the adjusters have to be extending as well, otherwise the EAS electrical system won't work very well. So you have to extend those as well. Um, of course, whilst you're doing that, you also need to increase your shocks by two inches in length. These are just standard shocks for the moment. We are going to be upgrading it. Um, but for the moment, that's basically what's underneath there. Um, but let me have a quick look under the bonnet and show you if I can see the top of the springs, we might be able to see the top of the springs better under the bonnet. Let's have a look. As you can see, she's a standard, well, she's not the thought, she's the later engine, not the earlier one. And it's a 4.6 V8 petrol, um, quite common in the Range Rover P38, uh, not the diesel. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can, no, I can't, which is a shame. Um, maybe I'll have to do a different video, but basically, what we've got on the top of there is just a, a two inch um, spacer, a round one, sits on top of the airbag, and then obviously the top of that bolts to the top of the, the chassis. But like, what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the back, and maybe I can show you a little bit better what's going on there. 
So I shall take this phone and we'll have a quick look and see what we can do. Right, okay, so on here, yeah, that's a lot better to see what's going on. So there we go, there's the airbag. And then below it, you'll see this metal plinth here. Now that's the two inch lift. Um, there'll be a lot of people saying, okay, that's great. <laughs> Where did you get it from? I'll explain that in a second as, as well. But it's a very comprehensive one. And unfortunately, dare I say, um, unfortunately, this was the last one that I could get that was readily made. This is obviously for your spring to lock this in. There's a little clip that goes through underneath. Um, okay, so we've also extended these bars. Don't know whether you can see that, but down here, there is an extension because we have to, because obviously we've rose it. So we've had to do some modifications. Not great picture. The light hasn't come on on the phone, which is great. Um, there is also brick line extensions. Um, we have to have those on the back, but not the rear. Again, the shocks have to be two inches increased as well. So that's just a basic video. Hopefully we can do a better video at some point. The coil versus air. And you're thinking, okay, so what? What's different? The problem is, where you've got flex, for example, like if, we sh if I just point, if you can just have a look at this wheel here, obviously it's quite flexed. So if that was a coil spring, the further it flexes, the less pressure is on that wheel. Whereas with an airbag, this airbag here is solid. The point being is that the pressure is still the same on the airbag now to whether it would be in normal position. Even though she's dropped right down, a coil spring would have less pressure because the, the tension is coming out of the spring. So it's becoming less and less weight distribution. Whereas now with air, although this wheel has dropped and that wheel is right up in the air because it's compressed, as this one is, as you can see, the pressure on all four wheels is the same. So, hence more traction. Normally, in a situation like this, if you were off-road, that wheel would be now stuck. It's took all the way up the truck. The wheel on the opposite side, obviously, is now gone up in the air. So all the weight now is on this one and that one, making those light on a coil spring. Two opposites of coil springs gone light. But with the air, that doesn't happen. So you've still got equal pressure on all four wheels, increase in traction. Now, I'm sure I'm gonna get thousands of comments on this, but that's my opinion, and that's what I found at the moment. In all the videos that I've got, I very rarely get any spin, any traction control lights coming on, no matter how the vehicle sits on that principle. Um, right, the actual kit I got from Australia, um, and I actually found out this kit basically by a guy on YouTube in Australia, in Queensland. Um, hi, Keithy, hope you're doing well. He's recovering at the moment. He's had a quite a big operation. Um, but that's Chilling with Keithy, if you want to look him up. Um, he, he's a great guy. There's not much he doesn't know about P38s. If you're interested, check him out. Um, but this is the scenario that we found. It's coming from Australia. He was part of, I believe he was part of the system of designing this system. Um, with a few friends of his in Melbourne, in Australia. But I believe this is the last kit. Now, if there was any demand for this kit, if anybody would like to try and get hold of one of these kits, I am tempted to try and get the people to remake them in Australia. If there's enough demand here for that, then let me know in the comments. And um, if we get enough people saying that they would like to have this kit on their P38 so they can keep the air, to get this great traction, um, then let us know. But basically that's it for now. Uh, I'll just sort of give you a quick rundown because I've got a few people asking, how come you've got wheels that big on and, and you're still on air, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully for those people that are interested, that's answered a few questions for you. Um, so just a short video, just air versus coil springs in my opinion. Um, obviously you know my opinion because I've just told you. <laughs> but uh, have a good new year. And we'll catch you soon, hopefully, on our next run out. Cheers, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Have you done the logo yet? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I haven't. Well, put it in then. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. Just put it in at the end with fancy music and that, eh?